Hey everybody, it's Dean Etheridge with DeanEtheridge.com and this past week I got hacked and I've been working on this for the last few days and I pray that this doesn't happen to you but if it does uh, you'll want to watch this video because I'm going to show you some things that will help you get rid of this as quickly as possible and not have to spend a fortune or pay somebody else that um, obviously there's some uh, there's some knowledge that goes along with this but this was serious business and it can disrupt your site speed, your SEO, um, your emails, everything. And they got all the above in a shared folder with multiple websites. Okay, so anyway, bad stuff. I, I worked the day before on one of these, uh, one website for about eight hours. Had to go to a previous backup and so I lost all that work. Luckily it was fresh on my mind and I was able to get it back up in maybe three or four, but that doesn't count all the viruses that I had to get rid of in the uh, manually removing those things. And I found a way to do it that's pretty cheap. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what that is if it does happen to you. But even if it doesn't, you need to watch this video just to protect yourself for future attacks because they they do happen on WordPress and I'm going to show you some things that you can do to avoid them by doing updates and that kind of thing so follow along with me let's get started and get right to it so this is MX toolbox they've got a $20 a month um, thing but I just use it to check and see maybe where I'm having problems but this is after I've run this is mainly mail problems but I've got a problem with a mail server so when I went out to Bluehost, I had, yeah, right here, I had 45 gigabytes of mail in queue, so it removed all of those, and um, serious issues there, but, so I had to go in and delete the mail queue, I went into, at the root level, and if you don't know what that is, ask your host if it ever does happen to you, but we're going to talk more about protection and removal in this, but that was a big problem, but a lot of things were loaded into my site. And you can see here, this is the one thing that I really want you to, to check out. It's called anti-mail mal, mal, it's called anti-malware from gotmls.net. And this is 27% of the way done on this particular site, but it ran on this particular site earlier. It's not near as big. This is a new site. That's um, that other one has hundreds of pages on it, but at any rate, this is, um, it went through 847 folders. It found four known threats, and it automatically fixes those, but you can donate $14 or $29, but see on this particular site, it's going through 6,000 folders. It's been going for two hours, so it's gonna have to run overnight. It's already found three threats, but these are, this is, this is bad stuff. And if you'll notice, you've got themes 2011 and 2010. And again, this is where the problem is. So when you go, it's critical that you keep WordPress updated. For example, this is the CTK Child Development Center and it got in through these. But if you click on this, we don't want to delete her existing themes. But we see there's a new version of 2014 and hackers get in through deleted software or deleted themes a lot of times but we want to delete that anything that you're not using get it off get it off your your website on WordPress and so I'm just going to delete this one also 2013 because there was there was script written on both of these but when you see either plugins now I've already updated everything I believe but you'll go into most sites and you'll see that all right, that one's all all good but going out to get off those maliciously loaded scripts got MLS um, this thing's great you can donate 14 bucks you can do it for free um, and you can do it for multiple sites you can get everything he has for 29 bucks uh, there's no affiliate program on this but I'm telling you this is this is worth its weight in gold but it has something at the end that let me show you. Okay, so it's already deleted and fixed all of those those problems for me. But it has a firewall for your WordPress site for Revolution Slider, which is vulnerable. 
and it blocks this particular folder. Um, that one's not set up, so let's go ahead and do that. We want to block that. Okay. And so now that's just another security feature. And then brute force protection, that enables it to protect your login. And while we're there, make sure that you change your login name from admin to anything else but admin. And because um, they, they scan, these hackers scan for admin, that particular username, and they'll, they'll try to do passwords. They're just robots trying to get into sites to do what you saw here, just spam a bunch of people with 45 gigabytes of webmail. So this thing is running, but I feel a lot better now that I have this, but this is gonna speed my site up considerably. Um, just getting bad script, bad code on your site can really slow it down, especially if it's got you know 45 gigabytes of, of mail backed up trying to get out that's just killing the server and so they shut all of my sites down the other day um, I had to delete everything because they, they they got in through my site but they were afraid that they would get in at the server level and so they disabled all my my sites until I could get it fixed which was a major major problem so um, let's see if this email Let's look at this mail statistics summary. <laughs> it probably take a month for this to load. Um, okay, see here, there was 26,867 in the queue. There was 1,567 sent. Uh, it, look at this, this is, this is on a, I don't know, this is thousands of emails and these are not from me, I assure you. But just crazy that it caught this. But this was killing me with my my hosting company too. I just could not figure out why my speed was so slow. Okay, an anti-malware just put those five items in a quarantine. If I need to bring them back, if, if it caused a problem to the site, uh, it even lets you know that. So it scans for everything, and then it automatically fixes it. But you do not want to delete all these potential threats, okay? Um, just wait and see, rerun a scan and, and check it. But everything should start working better once you run this scan and get your site moving quicker. Uh, the mail thing is a separate issue, but I just got hacked all the way around and it was terrible. So I do hope that helps. Remember to go out to a site like MX Toolbox to where you can check maybe some problems if your your website's blacklisted if you've got any server errors dns issues uh, there's other things that will that i've got on my site for speeding up your website but for now i just want to try 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 uh, change all your passwords delete all your old themes always always put everything on auto update update plugins automatically and i just had some old websites that were sitting there just didn't even think about it um, updating those uh, they were sitting on the servers but they got in and they got in through the rest of my sites that way so just been a, a real nightmare it's cost me about 30 or 40 hours of my life this past week fixing this so anyway I, I hope this saves you from the, the agony and that I've gone through and um, if you got any questions or any comments uh, any suggestions for the rest of the viewers just leave those down below the video, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, everybody.